for me, I feel like it's a very personal film. Uh, and the irony is that I, I was worried when I started that it maybe was going to be a difficult film to put my own personal stamp on. But the producers were so generous and they um, gave me such freedom mm -hmm. and they made it very clear early on that they didn't want to just see a Bond movie, they wanted to see my Bond movie. And so I had the freedom to create something that I think is as personal as any of the films I've made. Wohl zum Teufel waren Sie? Ich habe den Tod genossen. Ich habe nur eine Frage. Warum bleiben Sie nicht tot? Man kann ruhig zugeben, dass man nachlässt. Would you say there are any cin cinematic influences or um, where did you draw your inspiration from? Like, are there any directors or films that we can see as a reference to Skyfall? A little bit, yes. I mean, I, I, I um, you know, you're influenced by other directors all the time, moment to moment. You know, you'll set up a shot and it'll suddenly remind you of something that you've seen before. But the only films I really specifically looked at because I was wanting to try and create a particular atmosphere in London were some of the early 60s British thrillers like uh, Get Carter and The Ipcrest Files. Um, and then I also had a little moment when I went and looked at The Third Man. Um, you know, North by Northwest is a big influence. The first great true Bond hero is kind of Cary Grant in North by Northwest. And I looked at a couple of Kurosawa movies when we were working on The End. You know, so you, 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 have, you, you have visual references sometimes, and then a lot of the time, you know, you're just responding to what the world gives you. Shanghai is a fabulous place. You don't want to go there with some idea of recreating someone else's vision of Shanghai. You want to s respond to what you're seeing, and that goes for Istanbul and, and Scotland too. So it's a mixture. What was the first Bond movie that you've seen as a boy, and what's your favorite Bond villain? Um, the first movie I saw uh, was Live and Let Die with Roger Moore. Uh, when I was a kid, and uh, I've got a I've got a, a soft spot for Jaws, uh, you know the the uh, the Bond villain with the metal teeth, uh, because that's when I was a kid, and somehow it felt more vivid and real, and those figures seemed giant, uh, mythic figures, including Bond himself. So I suppose I'll always remember that feeling when I was twelve years old. And have you seen every Bond movie? No. No, it's embarrassing to admit, but I haven't seen every Bond movie all the way through. I made a decision when I was going to make this movie to not sit down and watch all the movies again, but to uh, to not be disturbed by um, too much by, by other images of Bond movies. So I, uh, the things that I remember are the things that I saw many years ago. <laughs> Will you watch them now or do you need a break from... I think Bond I need French a break, yeah, <laughs> but maybe. <laughs> Um, if they asked you, would you direct the, uh, another Bond movie? I don't know, is the honest truth, because you know I, I put everything I ever wanted to do in a Bond movie into this movie, and um, I, I would have to feel I could do the same thing again. And also, I've never wanted to be a commercial filmmaker. I, I want to make personal films, and I want to make films that are different um, and challenge me in different ways, and I don't want to repeat myself. So you know, maybe it would be someone else's turn, you know, and um, that's part of the joy as well, seeing what other people, other filmmakers, other actors make of, of Bond. Skyfall will be a commercial success, I <laughs> suppose. How much, of the, uh, how much pressure did you feel um, this time? Uh, the same amount of pressure making any film, you know. There's a little bit more noise because people have opinions all the time and people, you know, desperately want you to take it in one direction or another. Um, uh, but every film is pressure, you know, it's a very pressurized environment. Um, and, uh, you know, you, you have to learn to love that as part of the job. Mm. Um, I loved Javier Bardem in the movie and um, when he enters the stage for the first time, the move, that's where the movie for me really became fantastic. Tell us, how many times did you have to shoot that scene? Oh, I'm not going to tell you. That's trade secrets. Uh, a few. But, you know, he's an amazing actor and he didn't do it that many times. Um, uh, it was two days, that whole scene, of uh, probably two of the most fun days I had on the movie. <laughs> and did you have any reservations um, 
um, towards the casting of Javier Bardem in the role of the villain because he was playing the villain, this iconic villain in the Cohen movie and sometimes maybe a, um, a character gets worn out if he plays, you know? Uh, no, because he's a great actor and it's a completely different character. Um, so I, I just didn't think, you know, there were going to be that many comparisons once people saw it. Mm -hmm. Initially, people thought, oh yeah, of course, but they had an idea going into the Bond movie that he would play a similar character and it couldn't be more different. Do you have a favourite scene? Mm, so it changes whenever I see it, you know. Um, but I am fond of his first scene, uh, and I'm very fond of the scene at the end of the of the movie and uh, uh, takes place in Scotland. But you know, uh, it, it, sometimes uh, you know it's one of the things that you learn is movies feel differently every time you watch them, even your own. Okay. Last question: If you had to pick just one movie, what would be your favourite movie of all time? Oh, probably The Godfather. I would think. And why? Because I can watch it again and again, and, and uh, uh, you know, and I think it's a perfect film, um, and because it always inspires you, um, you know, and shows you how to tell s huge stories in a simple way, um, and it's one of the few films that really has the weight of a great Shakespeare play or a Chekhov play. To me, it's 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 very complex and it's always new. <laughs>